Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Hi, Mike. Hi. Did you have a good weekend? Oh, yeah, thanks. I took the family to the water park, you know, the one just outside of York. Huge place. And you? Nothing much. I binge watched an entire season of Game of Thrones. Boy, you do know how to relax, don't you, Anne? Anyway, could you bring me up to speed, please? Sure. The weekend crew really pushed the limit this time. They've made up a third of last week's quota. It's good. Yeah. We are still behind schedule, and number five is acting up again. Listen, I don't have to remind you that the future of this company relies on us getting this deal through. I know. And the guys know too. They've been working overtime constantly for the past few weeks. Uh... I think we have a problem. What is it? I don't know. Everything's working fine. I was about to start with the newest batch, and then... Suddenly I lost control. And now the machines are shutting down. What do you mean, shutting down? Which ones? All of them. And I can't bring them back up. What you're seeing is not science fiction. In some industries, this is a worst-case scenario. Losing control of automated assets and being unable to regain it. We'd like to show you how these types of attacks work and which technologies you can use to prevent them. Most compromises begin with the human element. This is Jerome. He works at the manufacturing plant. He often works from home and from cafes like this. Working outside the corporate network is nothing new and can be effective, but it does present issues with security. The attacker looks for open source intelligence relating to their intended victim, pulling data from social and professional networks, public directories, underground communities, and other resources to build an organizational map. A targeted search engine query uncovers a recent PDF document created by an employee, and the metadata of the document reveals exactly which version of Acrobat Reader is in use at the target organization, allowing them to create a malicious PDF document containing just the right exploit. A mail with the malicious file attached arrives in the target's Office 365 inbox. It's well targeted and appears legitimate. The victim reads the attachment and moves on, thinking no more of it. Silently, in the background, the exploit drops an initial payload which establishes a command and control channel back to the attacker. Eventually, Jerome brings the infected device into the corporate network and logs on. The malware begins stealthily to spread. The initial goal of the attacker is to move laterally through the compromised environment. They find a web app running in a container that has a well-known vulnerability, which has been distributed via publicly available libraries on the web. Exploiting the vulnerability, the attacker gains root access and pivots back to the internal network. Eventually, this reconnaissance discovers a poorly secured unofficial bridge between the IT and OT networks, exposing the valuable industrial control systems to attack. How would this have gone differently if the environment were protected by Trend Micro? Let's have a look. First, the inbound email would have been inspected by Trend Micro's cloud-based advanced protection for Office 365. It can inspect email with various advanced analysis techniques, including machine learning and attachment sandboxing, which would detect the malicious file. At the endpoint, the email attachment is inspected pre-execution using various advanced techniques, and at runtime, the Acrobat exploit may be detected using behavioral analysis or machine learning. Communications to known CNC can be blocked, and lateral movement rules can detect attempts to spread. On the cloud-based workload protected by Trend Micro, virtual patching would prevent the Apache Struts vulnerability from being exploited. Or we could have scanned the containers and found the vulnerability before deployment and prevented the container from being deployed in the first place. On the network, Trend Micro will detect unusual traffic and block exploits of known or pre-disclosure vulnerabilities. For SOC or incident response teams, Trend Micro's EDR provides insight into every step the malware took on the endpoints, and our Managed Detection and Response Service provides investigation assistance across endpoints, servers, and networks. Cyber threats are ugly, malicious, intrusive, relentless. They are overwhelming and chaotic. But through the graceful orchestration of our proven foresight, X-Gen security strategy, and passionate people, we enable our customers to prepare for, withstand, and rapidly recover from threats, turning cybersecurity into something beautiful. I know. Everyone does. I've got this idea I wanted to run by you. I think that we can cut a few hours on A-Line. 